This is how you normally see Chile on the map. Let's move it up a notch. When we place Chile at the bottom end of the United States, we see how long it can actually spread. It crosses the entire United States and extends to the peaks of Canada. If this sounds interesting, let's continue using Chile as a ruler. We can see that Chile covers the entire territory of Canada from north to south. And we also see that it is longer than Greenland, which we know as huge. Let's continue our journey by placing Chile at the bottom end of Greece and seeing how it looks in Europe. Isn't it incredible? Its borders are even higher than Norway's. I'm sure no one predicted this. Now let's transport Chile to the top of Russia. The country we thought was relatively narrow and ordinary on the map suddenly seems enormous, with its borders extending all the way to China. Let's take a look at Brazil. When we move Brazil slightly northward and align its lower border with Mexico City, we see that it covers a substantial portion of the United States, almost all the way to Hudson Bay in Canada. If we follow our previous route, we see that it can absorb a large part of Canada and much more than Greenland. Let's look at Europe. We place our bottom end in Greece again. While Brazil takes over the whole of Eastern Europe, it also includes a part of Russia and the entire Norwegian Sea, extending all the way to Iceland. When we position it in the northern reaches of Siberia, Brazil's borders encompass a sizable portion of Russia, stretching south beyond its borders into China and the coast of North Korea. Let's zoom out on the map a bit and examine the two huge islands. Which one do you think is bigger? Greenland? Australia? At first glance, Greenland seems overwhelmingly larger, right? What if we moved Australia right into Greenland? It seems like Australia is much bigger here. I'm still not convinced. Let's move Greenland inside Australia this time. Interestingly, that huge Greenland turned into a tiny island. But to make this a fair fight, should we move them both to the equator? Now that the truth has come to light, the world's largest island champion is Australia. Are you ready to be amazed by the largest country in the world? When we bring Russia into Africa, we see that it can barely cover North Africa. Even though it completely covers Australia, there is not much of its former glory here. Russia, which reveals its large size in South America, reminds us that it is quite large when we take it to the United States and Canada. So yes, Russia is very big. We could not prove the contrary in this video. Last but not least, Indonesia. Take a look at this archipelago, spread over a not very large area. Or is it? When we place Indonesia at the tip of Ireland, its area extends all the way to the inner parts of Kazakhstan. Oh yes, it's spread over a pretty wide area. When we put it within Russia's borders with Finland, we see that it can spread to almost all of Russia. Up to the United States, we can see Indonesia crossing borders and embarking on a journey offshore in the Atlantic Ocean. Going a bit further north, we see that it can completely surround the continent from Alaska to the east. If you found this video fascinating, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to explore our other content as well. Until next time, stay curious.